Welcome back, soldiers of the great Calradian Empire. Hope you guys are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. We're right where we left off in our Bannerlord playthrough in a very intense war against the Northern Empire. So we have fought in one battle after battle after battle. We have bribed one of their lords, one of their mercenary lords, to join us. He's a Sturgeon. Uh, he's actually a uh, really good infantry that's helping out helping us out a ton but you know even though we've won so many battles all it takes is one defeat one single defeat and uh it's over so we got to be really careful about this and our goal for today is to keep on killing these forces and eventually take a castle now i'm also going to try to talk to more lords try to get them to join us Right? Try to get them to join the Great Empire and see the light that you are a losing, dying shell of an empire. And I am the new epic empire. The rightful empire. Epic empire. What? I'm the rightful empire. And you should join us. So, that's my goal. I might even disband the army. Because we're doing very well. We have 85 men. And we're faster when we disband the army. I'll just recall the army when we want to siege the castle again. We're just too slow. We can't catch up to these forces. And it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and disband army. Yes. All right. And then we're going to catch up to these guys. Let's see. Who wants to join my empire? Now you can look at their sigil here. And see the territory that they own. So, like, for example, this guy. Uh, his name reminds me of NASCAR, but it's like Nysar? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. But he's got a throne for his sigil. And if you look around, so he owns this territory over here. Now, I think that if we, if we get him to join us, we get this territory. So, I'm going to try my best. I need to find someone who's like, who owns this over here? It looks like, actually, this guy does. We can try to talk to him. Mm, he's kind of riding away. Oh, wait. Oh, you, oh, here's this guy. Andros Party? Andros Party of 54? Uh, yeah, he's... Does he... Does he... I assume he owns this territory. Let me try to catch up to him. Oh, wait. Someone's sieging. Oh, very nice. A big siege battle. You know what? Since they're sieging, I'm going to try to... I'm going to ride away. I'm going to ride away and see if we can take advantage of that. Because I assume they're going to try to defend that, right? Hopefully. Oh. Who do we got here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who is this? Belathor. I think is how you pronounce his name. I think he actually... He owns these cities. Let me Let me go talk to him. Or at the very least, kill him. <laughs> kill him. See if he'll join us. Our army is much more powerful. You know, it would be very, very foolish to fight us. But if we can get more lords to join us, we're going to get massive expansion. Like, massive expansion. So let's let's talk with him. And uh, let's, let's kind of, like, you know, plant a little seed in his brain. Hey, I don't think your liege, I don't think he's worth it, man. What exactly are you saying? All right, here we go. All right. You know me as a man of honor. Oh, critical success. Okay, this is great. This is great. Um, here we go. Um, if he ever violated his oath to you, it absolves you. For, okay, yeah, that's... There we go. Okay, success. All we got to do is one more. We just need one more. And these are 84%. I don't know. Let's see. I've always stood by Lucian. Whether Lucien has stood by me or not is another question. Lucien isn't known for a sense of loyalty. Y yes! Oh my god, I think he's joining us. You might be correct. Now, here's the next challenge. We've got to give him enough gold. Very well, you've convinced me that this is something I can consider. This is a dangerous step, however. I'm putting my life and the lives of my people at risk. Dude, I got you. I'll help defend your country. Oh my god. Okay, okay. If he actually... Okay, what is it going to take? Oh, like everything, everything. Hold on. 
you can have not that much gold. You'll have 150K. You're not taking my horses. See, how much can we take away until he's like, nah. Okay, you're not having my cows either. Actually, oh my goodness. All right, I'm keeping the cows. Look, the offer disappeared. So here, how about you have all these ponies? Fine, take the step horses too. And the desert horse. Oh, how much do you need, man? All right, there we go. There's the offer. Okay, so you'll kind of know when it, when it's not enough, the offer button will go. Okay, there. You can look out. These are great stallion horses. Okay, that I'm giving you. Oh, he joined. He joined in our. We gained our charm went up to 69 giggity. That is perfect. That is perfect. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is just okay. And look at look at guys. Our empire has greatly expanded. Not through bloodshed, but through charm. Oh my god. Can you can you imagine, right? Can you imagine what the Northern Empire's feeling right now? So, you know, they're sitting there thinking like, dude, hey, we're the Northern Empire. We got the Senate. There's this new guy, right? Comes out of nowhere. You know, he had a thing for the Empress, but she totally friend zoned him. <laughs> but he builds, he built, rebuilds this stupid banner, right? And he thinks he's the Emperor of Calradia. And he's over here. He took a couple castles. He backstabbed the Patanians to take a city. Now, now he thinks he's Emperor. He's like, oh, come on, let's just declare war. And I'm like, okay. How many troops does he have? Well, like 500 max. It's like, all right, well, we got like almost 3,000. And then battle after battle, they get whipped over and over and over. And they're like, geez, this guy's intense. And then they're like, yeah, well, you know, it's not like he could take our cities. We have too many people. The garrisons are too strong. And then, and then I bribe one of their, their greatest lords. They come out of this war like completely empty-handed. And they lose like acres, miles, and miles of territory. This is just perfect. Perfect. So, um, now, um, since we pretty much gave all of our gold, <laughs> we're making 5k a day now. But since we uh, have given all of our gold to pretty much this one lord and all of our loot, I don't think we're going to be able to do this again. But we can certainly try... With my charm being so high, I think, yeah, I think we can, we can try to negotiate with another lord. I mean, we, hey, why stop here? We can keep conquering them. We can keep fighting them. I want this, I still want this castle. I want this castle over here. Um, let's go, let me just try again. Let me just see what it's going to take to, to get another lord to join us. And this totally makes sense, right? If you were part of an empire that was at war with another empire branch, like a civil war, and you're just getting beat by this small army and this very, like, ambitious lord, there it, it wouldn't be surprising that, you know, lords loyal to the northern empire would be like, you know what? I think this guy is the future, and I'm going to join him. I'm tired of my men dying to his army, and I'm tired of our Emperor Lucian sending our troops to their deaths. Lucian's, you know, inc incapable of being a good leader. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I like the story behind this. It's it's pretty fascinating. Let's go talk to this guy, though. If we can catch up to him. Come on. Whoa. Oh. Let's see, actually, there's Lucian. And we get we probably can't get Lucian to join us, can we? Oh wait, are they coming to fight me? Come here. Alright. We should have What? Who is this? Lucian? Ah, uh, you know what? I might just I might just get out while I'm ahead and negotiate peace. What do you guys think? I say we fight. I say we fight. We win this. Then the rest of their empire is open to attack. Alright. I think it's you you who should be surrendered. Who, who should surrender. Blah. Parallel is over. A great battle is about to commence. Woo. This is, this is too much fun. I'm having a blast playing this campaign. Seeing that massive land grab right... I didn't know you could do that. Like... 
I mean, I always knew you could do that, but I didn't think it was actually going to work. All right. We need to quickly find defensive position. Okay, we've seen this map. I really hope they start adding more maps. I'm starting to... Unless maybe because I'm just fighting in this one area all the time. But yeah, more map variety archers! would be awesome. We have 30 Boom! archers, by the way, guys. 30 Boom! archers. Alright. Infantry, Infantry here. This is this the standard, typical defense. Sergeant, Horse archers go. Cavalry, move. Wait, where are you going, archers? Forward. Oh, did I tell everybody? No, 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 no. No, no, no. This move. isn't good. Archers, get over here. Move, Infantry, get over forward. here. Whoa. Did not tell you guys to do that. Cavalry, there you go. Cav set up there. All right, let's. Okay, that was that could have been really bad. All right, archers. There you go. All right, let's have my cab charge. This is the downfall of your empire. I will unite you all. Join me. Don't fight me. Join me. You serve a false emperor. All right. Infantry, charge! End this battle. When will you learn? When will you quit? Alright, Cav. Follow me. It's always the archers that are scary. Let's tell my archers to advance. Come on, we gotta keep charging them. I keep missing. I'm the worst. There you go. Get him, guys. Get him. Turn around. Turn around. Let's run through him again. Ooh, a crossbow. That would have been scary. Turn around. Here we go. Rinse and repeat. This guy blocked me. All right, cab charge. Now that our infantry is in the mix... Yeah, hey, that's another block. Surrender. Lay down your arms. We'll show you mercy. Join my ranks. Join my army. Doesn't have to end like this. Well done, army. All right. Well, let's try to get as many prisoners as possible. Well, I should probably get a blunt weapon. <laughs> To increase our chances of just knocking them out instead of killing them. But there we go. Victory. We lost three men. Three men. Oh, and the morale. The morale increase. And I was so glad that the Western Empire was an eye distance to see this battle. And to see what they're going to have to deal with soon. Um, you know what? I'm feeling merciful. I'm going to let them go free. Here you go. You're free to go. Maybe you'll think about joining us in the future. Ooh. You know what? I'm keeping him. And I'm going to execute him. This is the emperor, right? Of the Northern Empire. Goodbye. And then there was two. Well, technically three, but I'm not going to behead the Empress. All right, let's go to one of these lords and see if we can... Oh! Look at... Look who's, look who's fighting. I was going to try to negotiate with this guy, but we'll help him. Let's attack. 
Oh, this is a special moment, guys. This is our first battle with our recent traitor lord. <laughs> our turncoat lord. All right. Mountain, Go give them hell, horse archers. You know what to do. See, are they running into the woods? I think they're running into the woods. Hey, they're using some defensive tactics. All right, let's see if we can kind of stop them here. Let's oh, move up the uh, archers here. Move. Just to get my army getting a little closer. Riders, Riders move up. All right, there you guys go. We probably don't need any kind of like big brain tactics here. We could probably just rush this hill. I mean, I would love to save as many lives as possible. This is such a cool... Oh. Are they charging down? Oh, hello, Cav. Give up! Lay down your arms! Lay down your arms! I'm like having the lord who joined us, you know, spread my propaganda like, He is the rightful emperor! Fellow... Fellow... Fellow soldiers who I once served. <laughs> Join him. Alright, we actually have taken two losses here, though. Alright. Archers. Archer, advance. advance. Infantry. Go to this tree Move. line. Cav, you're not going to be very useful, but we'll have you flank around there. Yeah, this has not been easy for... For my uh, horse archers. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my horse archers back. Because they're just not having any luck with all these trees. Alright, here they come. Alright, infantry actually fall back. I want to buy time for the archers. Uh, Cav, charge. No need to charge in. Alright, horse archers, go back at it. Yeah, skirmish them down. It's over. Infantry, charge. Ah! Get them, boys. And there they break. Imperial infantrymen. Join me. Lay down your arms and join the rightful empire, the true empire. It's over. We can band together and bring down the Western Empire. Just don't tell them that yet. All right. Good victory. Everybody charge. I think we took a couple casualties, but I don't know if I saw any deaths. Oh, hello. Alright, let's get my horsemen over here. Hey! Dang it, there's another wound. Come on, guys. There we go, infantry. Clean them out. I could not kill that crossbowman. There we go. What's left? Something up there. Oh, we lost an Imperial recruit. That's all right. We won the battle. We lost, oh, we lost five guys. No, we lost one guy in my army, but four in Andros's party. Woo, how awesome. 300 gold, yes. Yes, well, well met. Now, I think they're losing this war. I think they're losing this war. We are now a thousand one hundred strong. Look how weak they got because we took we took basically a thousand men away from them, like a twenty five percent of their probably more than that, like forty thirty percent of their their people have joined us. This is too good. All right, you know what? I might just call an army together and it's time to take some castles. It is time to take some castles. We're going to do this quickly. We're going to do it before the Western Empire can take land from us. 
And look at this. Now there's no one. Now there's nothing standing in our way. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Settlement's under attack? Uh, wait, how do I go back to the feed? Like, is there like a notification? Oh, hey, we also need to do a new policy. Let's do that one we were talking about. The Council of Commons. Let's propose a dish. Do, wait. Are they against this? I'm confused. I'm not sure how this works. Are they... Like, it says 100%. No. Start leading all citizens meet and vote on some issues. This decision was rejected by the support of the council. Oh. Dang. Okay. That's unfortunate. I guess I'm not 100% sure how that works. But... I mean, what? maybe we shouldn't settle for castles. Maybe we should go for cities. Like, have a big old juicy siege. Hmm. I, there's something about this castle, though, that I, I just want it. But we have enough men. I'm pretty sure. If we call another army... Oh, we can only call him? Party is less than 40%. Really? 50 is less than 40%? Okay, then, yeah, I guess we can't. I guess we can't really call an army, so we might as well go for the siege. Your settlement, Montos, is under attack. Where is that? Hold on, let me find that. Montos? Is that a village? Like, I wish it was, like, you could click on it, and it would take you... Oh, it's over here. He's just raiding my village. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but I wish I, you could click it, and it would... Kind of tell you, hey, go ahead and build up an army, would you, dear? Thank you. So let's go siege, and we'll call upon one of my bannermen. Um, and I think once we take this castle, we can negotiate peace. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because why not just keep taking them all? Take them all on. As long as another faction doesn't declare war on us. All right. Your relations decrease. Yeah, well, good. They no longer have the original emperor. By the way, who is the emperor now of the uh, Northern Empire? It is this guy. <laughs> uh, what is his, like, family line? Is it son? Is he the son? Oh, it's the son. <laughs> oh, hey. I'll show mercy to him because uh, he's not the one who declared war against me. Hey, gained a level. Awesome. And we're going to call him to join us. To help us out in this siege. And let's build a ram. Okay. Now we wait for him to join us. Hey, hey. We have a baby. Naming newborn. No, that's fine. Gave birth to Carmenet. Carment? Maybe we... Hold on. Let me check the... Kingdom here. He, is it a girl or a boy? Um... What's the sex? Remember the secret society... A secret society based in the lands of the Empire. She has... Oh, uh, she. She has a reputation of being... I figured that was a female name, you know? But... But yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Well, I do need a boy. I mean, I guess I could have an empress, right? Who could take over. I'm not against that. Oh, here comes my companion. Or one of my... Not my companion, but one of my lords. He's, he's scaring him off. No, no, no. Come back. Just don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Come back here. There he is. Come, just join up with... Thank you. All right, the ram's almost done. Once we have the ram... Well, let's just build a siege tower, too. We might as well. We got time. I still have wounded troops. We need to keep strengthening this army. They keep sending over more and more men. This is this is hilarious. 
look how weak their armies are now and i bet it's just full of recruits you know it's just like full of recruits uh oh they're going after me get out of here you've got to be kidding me you're actually attacking me are you hold on doesn't have to come you think your liege here we go i'm sweet talking him again you think your liege is worthy of your loyalty you should just oh whatever okay then then you die then you die when will the northern empire learn its lesson look at she's even like uh do we have to fight do we have to do this <laughs> All right, another battle underway. It's it's good to have my uh, Sturgians, my Sturgians with me. Got 100 infantry, 36 archers, 16 cav, 17 horse archers. Oh, and this is our map. I love this battlefield. All right, horse archers. Get killing. Well, they might actually have horse archers too because they have those like eastern, um, you know, like mercenaries. All right, you know, they never learn, do they, guys? When will you learn, old man? All right, and then Cav. On the flank. All right, let me ride up and scout up ahead. Get ready, men. Our infantry is a solid force, though. Like, this is, like, the first time in this battle where I feel like... The infantry can single-handedly win this battle. Yep. Do they have horse archers? No, that's just normal cav. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, they got camels. I love camels. Guys, don't hurt the camels. Ow. All right, hurt the candles. Candles, camels. <laughs> I called him a pig. Oh, uh, how fun. Die, you pig. All right, here we go. All right, let's watch our army from a distance. This is going to be fun. Are you coming to face me? Ow, okay. Never mind. All right, easy. Get them, archers. All right, cab, charge. Slow down the infantry. There you go. Yes. Oh, brutal charge. That was like a total war charge. Infantry charge. Go. Yes. Brave infantry. They stand no chance against my infantry. Good job, guys. All right, archers, advance. Sword, uh, infantry, advance. Cav, group up. No. Follow me. We're going to kill these archers. Don't shoot at my horse. Kill these archers. Kill the archers, guys. There's so many of them. Come on. Get them, guys. Get them. Oh no! Infantry! To me! Charge them! Infantry, charge! Thank you, Cav. Cav, go at it! Get them, boys! Get them! Join us! Don't fight us. Hey, when you can't beat them, join them, right? There you go. 
Uh, I'm getting so proud of my army. You guys, look at you. Look at you with your half-finished corn rolls. You know, like, what that hairdo, man. Go give them hell, everyone. Everybody, have fun. Have fun. There we go. Victory. We lost 12 men. All right, I'll take it. Okay, so as we were sieging the castle, let's continue the siege. So we defeated another force. We need to get these troops healed up, all the wounded from the last battle. They have a little bit of time before we have, have to go in, so hopefully they can heal up quickly. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough battle, but we are going to take it. This is this is it. This is the moment. We're going to take this <laughs> god-forbidden castle, this god-forsaken castle. Hey, look, there's some... Anyways, can we can we add more? Hey, we could add more. Hey, join us. It'll make it a little bit easier. Look at all the lords we have now under us. That's that's great. So yeah, we're gonna add 70 more troops to the army. You've got to be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. They showed up with another army of 263. They just do not want me to take this castle. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Let me try something. We're going to call off the siege. I know. It stinks. But we're going to try to see... If we can get them to join us. I'm going to try to buy some time. Here, come here. Oof. Hello. Do you have anything to say before I give the orders to attack? Um, stay your hand. What are you saying exactly? <laughs> Alright, you might be a little bit more difficult to convince. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. We need... Hmm, no. Yeah, nope, it's not gonna work. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. We'll try here. Success. We have a little bit of success. Let's see. Um, critical fail. Jeez. Yeah, nothing worked there, so... I was hoping that we wouldn't have to fight. <sighs> Alright. Should, should we negotiate peace with the northern... Northern... Empire. I know I'm saying that like I'm streaming or something, but I I might negotiate peace. Yeah, let's negotiate peace, guys. As much as I would love to have that castle and how long, how many times we sieged it, we probably should have just attacked it before this army showed up, but. I was waiting for a little bit more reinforcements. So we'll have like 168 against their... A lot. They got a lot. Yeah. Um... Ah! Uh, because I know we could win this battle, but I don't... We'd probably take some big losses and... Let's negotiate peace. 5,000 gold. That's all it takes. There you go. Offer accepted. All right. Well, we have peace with the Northern Empire. And that ends a great war that went on for a while. I'm not sure how long it went for, but many died in this war, including our, our own good men. I'm going to go ahead and dis disband the army. You can keep your castle. I'll take your lords. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> there you have it. Look at this. Look at the territory. We have two cities now. And another castle. We have, what, three castles now? Three, ca three castles, two cities. I'm going to go back to the capital, which is our original city. And I'm going to go check on the garrisons. Let's do some peacetime kind of stuff. But really quick, check on the garrisons and make sure they're building and doing everything everything right. Okay, so we're back at our capital. Let's manage town. So we have training fields, which 
I've heard that training fields are what uh, improves the men in the garrison. And it looks like we're not building anything right now, so we should probably change that. So I want to throw a couple bucks in here just to speed up production. We need a marketplace desperately. And uh, then after that, let's do the siege workshop. Uh, militia barracks, let's increase that. And then the forum. Everything else, I don't think we can upgrade. I think three is the max level. So, yeah, that's pretty good. You're my, uh, my, my empress, Ellis, is the governor of this town, which makes sense. All right, so that's all done. Let's go actually check on my other real estate properties, all right? We're going to go check out my castle now. Okay, so we're at this castle. And uh, here's the garrison. I didn't mean to go that. We want to go to Manage Castle. And it looks like we stopped building over here too. So you always want to make sure you keep up your uh, properties here and make sure they keep building and everything. Let's um, inc- Oh no, are they still building here? It's like they stopped building for some reason. Well, let's uh, let's build this and then we can build that next. And then after that, let's get the militia barracks up. Yeah, why did you guys stop building? I guess they ran out of funds. So it's just... Are we... Oh, we're out of gold. <laughs> we're out of gold. Okay. That's fine. We'll get it back. Well, actually, you know what we should do is probably just... Here. Let's go to the next castle over here. I'm going to sell all my loot and uh, keep the construction going on, on these great castles. All right. So let's go ahead and trade now. And we got a lot of good juicy loot. We can do it by value. Whoa! Look at this helmet! It doesn't... I mean, it's not the coolest looking helmet. But it's it's kind of cool. It's not as good as our other helmet. Where did our other helmet go? Here, value. Here. Yeah, it's not nearly as good. But it's still... That's an expensive helmet. Um, we got more of these... I might as well sell it. I could give it to a companion. You know, I'll save it for a companion. I'll save both of that for a companion. Everything else can go. Except the camels. I want the camels. I love the camels. And these horses. Yeah, we just got to make sure we keep food, horses, you know, the necessities for a great army to, to march quickly. Okay, that looks like everything. So, whoop. There we go. We'll get 38,000 gold, and we'll use that to keep improving our other castle here. Your party has slaughtered some animals to eat. Uh-oh. <gasps> well, would you look at this? Look who decided to show up late to the party. Man, I'm so glad we, ne we negotiated peace with the Western Empire. The... I'm sorry, the Northern Empire, because the Western Empire is now at war with us. Holy crap, what a cliffhanger. And, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to conquer. I'm ready to conquer more. I'm loving it. Yeah, keep attacking me. Keep getting me more territory. This is perfect. Okay, so let's go to the castle really quick. And manage castle. And, uh, are we still building here? Why aren't you building? Militia barracks. Let's get that done. Training fields. Get that done. We need to hurry up here with production. Alright. And we'll do a couple more. That's it. Get building. Finish. Finish these buildings. And hurry up. So guys, that concludes another episode of our great Bannerlord playthrough. After many, many battles and many weeks of fighting the Northern Empire, we finally showed some of their lords the light that we are the true, true empire. Now we have a situation where our, our empire our empire is kind of scattered a little bit. So we got some land here and it kind of goes up here. And uh, we need to start attacking the Western Empire and bringing down their cities. And we could unite all of this territory under our banner. And it's going to be good. It's going to be great. So, really excited about that. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Let me go ahead and end the episode like I do most of the time. Uh, which is going to the Lord's Hall. Remember when we used to go to taverns? Ah, oh, how far we have, we have gone. 
But yes, I remember taking this castle. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing, Frank? How's the wife? Is she doing well? Alright. Let's sit down here. Ah, it's good to be the Emperor. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Next time on a battlefield in Calradia.